Councilman Krause. Yeah, being a former merchant downtown and paying rent as a landlord, uh, as a tenant, uh, one of the problems downtown uh, is the rents are substantially high. They're between $35 and $50 a square foot. So someone has a 1,000 foot square store, the rent's 4,000 a month because they're paying triple net, they're paying the taxes and maintenance and that. And, and, and what the Italian ISIS person is going to sell is not going to save any business to be able to pay their rent. Uh, the other thing is this, the vendor outside is, is weather uh, control. If it's raining, they're not going to be out there. The other thing is the Italian ICE, what it's offering is uh, an alternative for those who have lactose intolerance children because no store downtown sells anything for someone who has lactose intolerance. And so to me, I'm, I'm supporting it. Let's try it for a year and see how it goes. But the amount of money this person's going to generate, and plus they're collecting the food and beverage tax, they're complying with all that, they're paying a fee for it. Uh, you know, to me, let's try it and see how it works because this is not going to make a big difference to an individual store, you know, merchant. Councilman Cherico. Thank you, Mayor. You know, another side to that, though, is that if you look at the uh, square footage that's taken up in a food cart and you look at the amount of fees that are generated to, you know, to the city versus the fees or taxes that are paid by the brick-and-mortar companies, it's, you know, in just tiny. The, uh, the charge is, I think, 250 per permit, I believe. And is that right? That is correct, but we um, we do also require them to pay the food and beverage tax in the downtown Which everybody tax. pays, but I'm yes. just talking about the 250 for the fee. So, you know, you compare that to your property taxes. It, it's just a, it's a, in some ways, an unfair competition. I know that it adds to the, um, to the, you know, sort of excitement and the, the feel of the downtown area, and, and that's fine, but... Uh, the spirit of the agreement was that it wouldn't be something in direct competition, and I'm sure that there are uh, items downtown Naperville that people can get that are healthy for their children. And so, um, I, I just I think that it's uh, it's it's going back to what we talked about, and I don't think that that's the right way to to proceed here. So I'd still ask that we just issue the, the first two permits. Well, you know, I'm still a, a kid at heart, and uh, I I kind of like having the opportunity to jump out of the car and grab something and run back and, and uh, eat it on the way. And it, I think it adds to the ambience of uh, the downtown uh, to have these uh, carts that uh, uh, sell uh, to uh, the, the public. And I went up there and looked at the corner of uh, Maine and, and uh, Jackson, and uh, it looks like it could take it. But, you know, I understand the other side, too, and the concerns and um, uh, I, whatever the council decides would be, be fine, but uh, I kind of like what I'm seeing that we're, we're at, least, um, uh, at least sticking with what we've, we started with, but you know, I, I, I could be, I'm kind of on the line. I, uh, I could see having two carts up there in the corner and uh, I, I think it would be good for Naperville, but uh, uh, certainly the council will make the decision. So. Mr. Jericho. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd like to make a motion that we issue one permit uh, for that site to uh, the original vendor who, uh, that would be, would that be Joey's or would that be the, uh, it would be Joey's. Okay. Second, Broadhead. Second. Roll call. Broadhead. Aye. Jericho. Aye. Fiesler. Aye. Hinnerlong. Aye. Kraus. No. McElroy. Aye. Wentz. Aye. Pradle. No. Eyes have it. Okay. Good. <laughs>